Hi, I'm Shari Arbasi. I am fortunate enough to be the ASCC External Affairs Vice President this year. And uh, last year at this time was a very interesting movement happening here on campus and certainly throughout the nation. Um, the Occupy movement, which stemmed from uh, a large mobilization throughout the country where people in the United States felt a huge inequality gap um, from what you would call the lower and the middle class I mean, even the upper middle class to the wealthy in the United States. So you saw this 1%, 99% dichotomy being created, and this was very well manifested um, in UC campuses and certainly in Berkeley as the uh, pinnacle point of the Occupy movement, I would say, um, in most college institutions. So about a year, a year ago at this time, there was a huge rally on Sprout. I think that was probably the start of the, of the major Occupy movement. Um, I mean, where you literally had you know, hundreds and hundreds of students coming in. I distinctly remember um, I was there at the rally. My teacher decided to do a kind of a teach-in, or you could say a walkout um, in, in class, and we decided to have class on Sproul. And, and we're kind of discussing the nature of the Occupy movement, how it relates to larger issues with higher education, how higher education has been significantly impacted by the way um, Sacramento has been dealing you know, with, with certain policies and how funding is continually being cut. I just simply remember, you know, we had Bolt students kind of walking all the way from Bolt, over 150 students, um, with the very, very like interesting, you know, chant like, I mean, something along the lines of, um, you know, Berkeley Law represent. Here we are with the 99 percent, and that, that that ring definitely rings in my ear every now and then. Um, you know, as I walk past the place that that was happening, so it was a very visual uh, and very, you know, audible representation of all different parts of campus coming together and uniting over this movement, over this larger Occupy movement that had now taken its frame not just from against Wall Street, but focusing on higher education and the impacts that you know, our nation's financial decisions had had on higher education in the last few decades and a few years. So kind of as the movement built up uh, that night, I mean, lot, lots more intense things happened um, in the period of the night. I mean, the huge, biggest rally I've ever seen on Sproul was within the, that day and that night. Um, Professor Rob Reich spoke at that rally. You had I mean, well over four or five thousand people there. Um, it was you saw it being televised. You saw major news cameras coming. And I was also fortunate enough to be a senator in the ASC then. So there was certainly a response needed from campus leadership. Um, so I was continually meeting with the EABP Freeman um, as well as some of the other execs and discussing how their relationships are going with police. Continually talking to the police, making sure that we're trying to get them to have a safe relationship with students. And fortunately, at the time, we also saw one of the most difficult times um, for students on this campus when police acted in a very harsh, very brutal way against students and tried to, you know, this is something I, I will remember as a key moment in my career here at Cal, um, where, you know, they said that standing and linking arms is a, not a non-violent way to protest. Um, and they tried to break apart these people standing with their, with their arms linked with batons and, um, I mean, kind of things that you would assume that an institution like Berkeley, which has been founded on the principles of free speech, um, which has been the key free speech, I mean, it is, it is the, the campus where the free speech movement started, but, that we would be better than that. But, you know, they clearly weren't. So, I mean, that's at the same time in the few days where Davis had the pepper spray incidents, and all over the nation you saw um, intense actions being taken by the police. And questions started to be asked. So I think the biggest, you know, few key reflections I take away is that people started to really ask questions about what are we doing with our system? Why are we the best public university in the world? But at the same time, any other public university in the world doesn't even have a police force. We have a fully fledged police force. Then we go into this mutual aid um, you know, process where we bring in other police forces from around the county who don't even know the chief of police at Berkeley. So I remember I, we asked one of them, oh, you know, who's telling you to do this? Do you even know the chief? And they had no idea what we were talking about. So clearly a lack of transparency, a lack of proper discussion was going around with the police. You had senior administration, in my opinion, not taking the best response not appropriately dealing with this movement. And you had a, an interesting movement of a lot of students gathering together, but at the same time a leaderless movement, which also didn't necessarily make it the most effective, right? If administration needed to meet with someone to hear quote unquote demands or hear what, what we can move forward with, there was no leadership um, because of the General Assembly status, which I definitely applaud as a great way to you know, have direct democracy, but it didn't necessarily work in that General Assembly. You know, for those who might not know, is kind of the way you do roll call and, and you, know, you do mic check and you know, very, very, um, key ways to directly engage people. So I mean, it was a really, really interesting, fascinating time on campus. I'm glad that that movement happened because it then sparked a lot of other movements throughout the country and throughout the state. It sparked the March in March, where we you know, tens of thousands of students marched from to Sacramento, and we met and we lobbied legislators. And 
now we're seeing the implications of that. We're seeing that legislators are starting to pay attention to students, um, all because people just had to organize and make their voices heard.